welcome to my journey into another meal prep video. Today, what we made took an hour and 15 minutes. Yep, it just turned 7 o'clock. I started at 15 till. And you know, and, and that's filming my outro too. So that couple minutes, or minute, whatever, that's thrown in <laughs> for good measure. But you know, when I give you the time, that's full cooking time. That's not me setting it up and then start counting. I start counting when I come over here in the kitchen and start getting my stuff ready. So today was so quick and easy. Just so, I haven't told you this in a while. It does not take some big rigmarole to meal prep. Whatever you can do to set yourself up, it doesn't matter if what you meal prep is not like what somebody else meal preps, me included. Your meal prep might be getting your vegetables all cut up to use out through through the week, whether eating them raw or, or cooking them, whatever. It could be anything. You, you can cook a full course meal if you want to. Whatever you consider getting yourself prepared for the week, that's your meal prep. So, what we made today is a pumpkin apple baked oatmeal. And it is a recipe I made. And I found it when I was searching for something else in my healthy app. And I run across that. I'm like, oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> And it was before I ever had a YouTube channel because it's not on my website. Because so, I'm like, I don't remember you being on there. And I went and checked to make sure, and it, it's not. So that's what this recipe is. The only difference I made is I added some protein powder to it because I just want to ramp up the protein for myself. You, you obviously could do it, but it is optional. And then for lunch, I made salmon patties. And I've already said it, but... I, I'll say it again. It's not the normal way I make my salmon patties. It's Mama Peggy. It came from Mama Peggy. I love, I just love that. Mama Peggy's salmon loaf, okay? So that's what I was going to make this morning. I had meal planned it, salmon loaf, because I made it before and it's very delicious. Well, when I got over here and got my recipes out, I'm like, hold up. Because, you know, I like to do things at the same time if I can to, to streamline my time. And I'm like, I don't want salmon bacon at the same time as I want oatmeal. Mm -mm, that just didn't sound like it was going to work. So I'm like, well, I'll just make salmon patties because she says you can. So I did. I was afraid at first it might be too wet to stick together, but it, it was good. So they worked out good. I'm, I'm excited to eat them. So that's what we're having this week. No snacks because you know you know those um was it last weekend? Was it last week that I prepped those or was it the week before? Those pumpkin pistachio energy balls. I keep forgetting that I made them and I've not even eat the first one. <laughs> they're in the freezer. I don't see them. I forget they're there. I was looking for my recipe over here for today and I still had the one printed out for that one. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had those things. So I have a snack this week if I want it. So what if it's two things of pumpkin? Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you, this here oatmeal straight up smells like a fall candle. Straight up smells like a fall candle. Y'all know if you've been with me that I will eat pumpkin spice 365 days a year. Hot, cold outside. I don't care what the weather is. I don't care what time of year it is. I will eat it or drink it all year long. So that's why this doesn't bother me to make it in summertime. Not in the least. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you how good it smelled. So anyway. All right. Well, that'll be it. Let's go ahead and turn around and get started cooking. We'll start with our pumpkin apple baked oatmeal. So in here, I already have one cup of pumpkin. It's just the pumpkin you get in the can, pumpkin puree, one egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of sugar-free maple syrup. You can use regular. No problem in that. So I want to go ahead and kind of whisk this together to get that egg beat up a little bit before we add the milk. 
Now we're using one and a half cups of milk. Use any kind of milk you like. Almond milk, skim milk, whole milk. I'm using the Fairlife fat-free milk because I want that extra punch of protein. Okay, now let me get together our dry ingredients. Okay, I got all my dry ingredients together. The first thing I want to do this is optional. I'm just trying to pack in a little bit more protein. Yes, I'm going to use my Isopure unflavored protein. And I want to whisk it in just, just because I want to make sure it's incorporated. I just want to whisk it into my wet ingredients just to avoid any clumps. And I'm just going to use one scoop because I'm not sure how it'll affect the texture. Okay, next. And you can see I started to put the ginger in there because I, <laughs> I got confused on which little dish I was using. I have two cups of old-fashioned oatmeal, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm not going to whisk that. Hold on. Now, in here, I have, hold on, let me wipe something up. I have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth teaspoon of cloves. Okay, now, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to peel and dice one apple. Use, um whatever kind of apple you like it smells so good now this is our diced apple you saw the size of the apple and how much it yielded for us so keep that in mind I wouldn't use a really big apple I mean unless you want to Okay, now I already have my 8x8 eight eight baking dish sprayed. I'm just going to pour it in. Just kind of, oops, see if maybe you can make sure the apples are kind of even. Sometimes when you pour, they might get kind of in one spot. Then we're going to shake the top with cinnamon sugar. Use regular cinnamon sugar if you want to. I have both, but to keep my sugar down, I'm going to use my Truvia blend. And I make it myself. It is just... Oh, I can't remember. The air conditioner is blowing it everywhere. I can't remember. Just look up cinnamon sugar um, ratios. And Okay, excuse me while I come off camera just a minute. Okay, I got a mess to clean up. Anyway, dust the top with cinnamon sugar. Whatever kind you want to use. Pop this in a 350-degree oven, 30 to 35 minutes, or until it is set. It could take um, longer. Just keep a check on it. So now we'll start on our salmon. Now we will start our salmon patties. What I'm using is one can of salmon. Um, any brand you like. The pink salmon, that's usually what I always get. I don't... I honestly don't know if it comes any other way, but this is what I use. Now, I reserved two tablespoons of the liquid. It's already down in here. And you can see my salmon is all squished up. That's because I take out the bones, the spine bones, not the little side bones, little rib bones, the spine bones, because I'm here to tell you, if I take one bite of a bone, I'm done. I don't care if it's the first bite of a salmon patty, a salmon loaf, 
I'm done. <laughs> I will not eat another bite. The skin does not bother me. So, part of the squishing it with my hands is to get it nice and blended up. And the other part is to feel around and make sure I didn't miss a bone. So, there's that. <laughs> and then we have two eggs. So, I'll just kind of break those up a little bit. Now, the original recipe calls for some finely minced onion. I like to tell I've got onion in my... This is not the way I normally make salmon paste. This is not my old-timey, all-the-time-ago recipe. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. But I made it into a salmon loaf, and I liked it. So I thought we'll give it a try since I am not going to bake my salmon loaf at the same time I'm making my oatmeal, and I did not think that through. So, you can follow the original recipe or just throw your onions in there. And then, let's see, I need a tablespoon of lemon juice. And the one change I made... The other time I made, oh, I can't get my lid on. Well, since I never have fresh parsley, I just don't. Um, where is my, oh, okay. I substitute the dried, so I'm just using a tablespoon of dried parsley. And let's see, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of dill, dried dill. Quarter cup of milk, and I'm just gonna use my skim milk. That's not enough to um, worry about using the Fair Life. And then, let's see, let's mix that together before we add our breadcrumbs. Then we're going to add two cups of soft breadcrumbs. And I didn't think about buying bread for this. So this morning, when I was getting ready to make this, I'm like, uh oh, I don't think I have bread. I'm going to have to back up and pint. But I had some going stale hot dog buns from the other week that is what i ground up i just ground them in my little small food processor and it took one and a two and a half i'm sorry two and a half hot dog buns made two cups of soft crumbs okay now i have my pan heating up on the other side so I'm just going to let this sit here until I see if it is heated so hang on okay my pan is hot so I'm going to hit it with some avocado oil up oh, my air's coming out this is a mist though it's a little more inconvenient than a spray bottle that you get from the store, but it is 10 times cheaper because all you have to do is put your plain old oil in it and it just lasts over and over. Now, her recipe says if you make it into patties, make eight, but I want a decent sized patty, so I'm making six. Okay, now you just want to fry these on both sides until they're nicely browned. And if yours fall apart, like you're going to see mine do, they're going to crack. Don't worry. Mine most always do. Plus, this is a wetter um, salmon patty that I'm used to making. I make mine with cracker crumbs, salting cracker crumbs. So anyway, let's let them cook. All right, let me tell you, this smells insanely delicious. 
you're supposed to let it sit for like 10 minutes before you cut it. So I'm going to scoop mine out with a spoon. You can see how moist it is. Now, it may probably stick together, but I've got to stick one of these rectangular pieces in this round bowl. So I think it's going to do me better to do it like this. You see it, it's already sticking. Let me, let me scoop it out like this. Yeah, you could definitely get it out in one um, piece. But like I say, this is going to be the easiest way for me. So there you have it. I'm going to scoop all those out. And then we will be back and look at what we made today. So here's what we're having this week. The pumpkin apple baked oatmeal. Now let me let you know this is not a sweet baked oatmeal. If you want it sweet, you need to add more. Don't add more pancake syrup because you don't want it any moister than the batter, any more moister than it is, any more liquidy. Add your sugar or your sugar replacement, whatever you want to taste. I serve it with extra, it's like I do all my baked oatmeals, with extra sugar-free pancake syrup on top. Just like if I was having French toast or pancakes or waffles. That's how I eat my baked oatmeal. But if you don't want to do that and you want it sweet, be sure and add it. Add it to the liquid ingredients because it'll blend better. So that's for breakfast. And then for lunch, I have Mama Peggy salmon patties. And they'll be delicious because her salmon loaf is delicious. Like I was saying when I was cooking this, this is not my typical way of making salmon patties. But it's a delicious recipe. It's, it's a nice change of pace just from my quick, oh, I need something to eat real quick. Just throw it together, which is the way I've always been raised to cook them. And I love them that way. But this just takes a little bit more time. So that's all. Okay, well, that is what we are having this week. I think it's going to help me stay on track. I really do. And so that'll do it for me. I hope if you're prepping something today, you're prepping something really good. And I will see you. I'm not really sure because Sebastian's going to be here. Don't know how long. I don't know when I'm going to see you. So you know what I tell you. See you when I see you.